hey hello guys welcome to today's video today i'm going to teach you the difference between word post and web flow but today we are going to talk about word post that hug not wordpress.com but we can save this for another video so let's get started okay let's talk first about wordpress wordpress is an open sources it is a content management system where you can download the wordpress software and host it on your own web server and buy your own domain but webflow on the other hand is an all-in-one platform you can use to build your website without any coding knowledge Yes, you can build a website with WordPress without coding knowledge, but let's get into it. So, with WordPress, first you need to go to WordPress.org, download the WordPress software, and buy your own domain and your own hosting plan and host it to host the, the, the WordPress software. But with Webflow, you don't need all of that. You just need to buy a plan. And with a few clicks, you have a website. But when it comes to flexibility, you have more flexibility with WordPress than you have with Webflow. For example, WordPress offers a lot of free themes and plugins to help you build your website you can use paid themes also to build your website but with webflow you don't have all of that you know you just have the templates and you use them to build your website if you want to take your website to the next level with wordpress you will need to use some coding knowledge but with webflow you can build a beautiful website without any coding knowledge when it comes to uh price it might cost you around 150 dollars per year to have a, a wordpress website and it might cost you around 160 dollars to have a web webflow web, a website because after the plan you have both with webflow if you want to add more functionality to your website, you will need to pay an extra for that. So with WordPress, you have a lot of flexibility. You can use free themes. You can pay for the best ones because we have WordPress has a lot of best free themes, okay? And you can use whatever you want. And what with WordPress, you will need to back up your website on your own. You will need to take care of the speed and the security of your website but with webflow you don't need anything like that they will take care of everything for you so this is why according to me i will tell you which one should you choose if you're a designer webflow is the best choice for you because you will not need to write code to do anything like that you can build a beautiful website you can design website without coding because they they, they build for that you know and but with wordpress if you need to to take your business to the next level you will you might need some code <laughs> you know but with the flow honestly you don't need all of that yes wordpress don't take care of anything for you for example, the security, the speed, you need to take care of all of that. Whatever happens, it is your responsibility when it comes to WordPress. But with Webflow, they take care of everything for you. The speed of the website, the security, the, the backup, they take care of everything for you. You know, and if you are a blogger, you know, you can use WordPress. WordPress is going to be best for you if you are a blogger, if you are a digital marketer, if you're talking about SEO, WordPress is gonna be the best one for you because you can have 
uh, WordPress plugins that can help you to do on-page SEO, to do all of those kind of things. But with Webflow, I, they, they don't offer those kind of, of flexibility. And if you want to write blogs, you know, for your business, website, <laughs> WordPress, I'm sorry, WordPress is going to be the best choice for you. But Webflow, it is not that, that, that that the, it is not the base when it comes to blogs, okay? And as I told you, if you want to build an e-commerce website, WordPress can be the best choice also for, for you because they have the WooCommerce plugin you can use to build your website. And Webflow can help you too. But when it comes to flexibility, WordPress is best. When it comes to uh, backup, to security, to... Uh, speed workflow will take care of everything for you. That WordPress will not do that for you. You need to take care of everything by yourself. And when it comes to to price, both of them, it depends on your budget, can be good because with a WordPress, you will need to buy a domain, to buy your own hosting plan. You need to do all of that. You don't need to do that with workflow. They will take care of everything for you. And if you have any question, you can let me know. And in the next video, I'm going to uh, make the difference for you between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Okay? But for today's video, we were talking just about WordPress.org. I hope this video was useful, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you want to know more, you can read uh, one of the blogs in my website where we talk about the difference between WordPress and Webflow, we, 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 we provide more details if you want to learn more. But I hope this video was useful. Take care, bye-bye. Have a great day.